So let's look at a couple more practice problems for taking the square roots of fractions and decimals. And remember the basic rule is that if you have a square root of some fraction, let's say a over b, that you can take the square root of the top number and divide it by the square root of the bottom number. So when we have this square root of 64 over 121, we're asking ourselves what number multiplied by itself gives you 64 over 121. And the process is to just take the square root of our numerator and divide it by the square root of our denominator. And so what number multiplied by itself gives you 64? That is 8. And what number multiplied by itself gives you 121? That is 11. Now these are fairly straightforward to check since what we think is that this number multiplied by itself gives us 64 over 121. So let's just multiply it by itself, or essentially let's square it. So we have 8 elevenths multiplied by 8 elevenths. 8 times 8 is 64. 11 times 11 is 121, which is exactly what we expect. So this is our correct answer, which we can put in the box here. And of course, keep in mind, you can use a calculator to double check your arithmetic. Now let's move on. We'll do one more where we're finding the square root of a decimal. And for decimals, it's going to be easiest to rewrite it as a fraction. So we have 1.69, which is 1 in 69 hundredths. So really, we're adding 1 to 69 over 100. So this would be 100 over 100 plus 69 over 100. Or in other words, we have 169 hundredths. And in reality, you could go from the decimal to this 169 hundredths. Just remembering that this is the hundredths place and you have 169 of them. So from here, we can take the square root of this 1.69. Like I mentioned, we just rewrite it as a fraction. So we have root 169 over 100. And then we're just going to take the square root of the numerator and divide it by the square root of our denominator. So the square root of 169, that is 13, since 13 times 13 is 169, and the square root of 100 is 10. Now this is a fully simplified fraction, so this is a correct answer. Though we also have 13 tenths, which we can write as 1.3, since this is our tenths place and we have 13 of them. So let's quickly just check this, just to make sure that this is indeed the correct answer. And to check these, you just need to re-multiply it out. Since we were looking for the number when multiplied by itself, that gives us this 1.69, and we found 13 tenths, or this 1.3. And we can check this by just multiplying decimals. So let's do 1.3 times 1.3. So we multiply 3 by 3, and we get 9. 3 times 1 is 3. We put a 0 to move one place over. We do 1 times 3, which is 3. 1 times 1, which is 1. Let me make just a bit more room here. And we can add the columns now. 9 and 0 makes 9. 3 and 3 makes 6. And we bring the 1 down. Now, to include the decimals, we just count up how many decimal places we have. We've got one there and one there. And so we have two in total, which means we want to take our final answer and move that decimal place twice over. So what we found is that 1.3 squared is this 1.69, which is exactly what we expected. So it is true that the square root of 1.69, or the number when multiplied by itself that gives you this 1.69, is 1.3, or 13 tenths.